Welcome to Ravens Over. Please subscribe to my channel. And also, if you have a story you want me to cover, you can email me at ravenover at yahoo.com. And at the top of the thing, there is an Instagram button. Hit it. If you follow me, I will follow you back. Did you subscribe yet? Let's go to the video. Let's go. Hey, what's up? What's up? What's up? How you doing? How you been? What's going on? What's good? How you getting in? About to get in the fight. What's going on, people? I come to you with bad news. It's funny because I was just telling you how happy I was that I was not doing any reporting to brothers to the girls being murdered and stuff. And I was so happy and I kind of didn't want to say nothing about it. I said in the video, I didn't want to say nothing about it because it said that as soon as you say something, something happened. Well, lo and behold, on Monday at 1.15 in the morning at a motel, Amaya Tyree Berryman, 28 years old, was killed inside of a motel. Look at her picture right there on Google. And I'm going to tell you about the stuff of her. Check it out. Okay, I want you to Google her name. Her name is Amaya Tyre Berryman. A transgender woman of color fatally shot in Louisiana. Go on Google and Google her name. I'm going to tell you the story about her. It is sad to learn that the death of Amaya Tyre Berryman a transgender woman of color who was fatally shot Monday in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Transgender advocate Monica Roberts write that Berryman, 28 years old, was found suffering from a gunshot wound at 1.15 a.m. in the morning of a local hotel. Few, de few details are known about the crime and police report. They have no suspects of the person of interest at the time or up Autopsy is scheduled for Tuesday, according to WBRT, excuse me, WBRZ TV2, with sad and misgender her Berryman death is the seventh known homicide of a transgender person this year. Since 2013, there has tracked of 112 incidents of fatal violence against transgender and non-boundary people although 63 have been victims of gun violence in 2017 16 out of 28 deaths were result of gun violence now trans people of color colonists and release report documented that the census act of violence that made 2017 the deadliest year on record on transgender people, particularly trans women of color. So, make sure you Google her name, beautiful girl and stuff. <sighs> All I can say is rest in peace. 28 years old and she was found shot in Baton Rouge on Monday, which basically was, um, Yesterday. What's today? Today's Wednesday. So day before yesterday. Um, this is horrible. So I can say it's the family of my prayers and rest in peace and stuff. In Baton Rouge, Louisiana, inside of a motel, she was killed at one was at one fifteen a.m. at the local hotel. You know. I don't understand it. Why they kill these girls. I always tell you, and I said this tons of times, we have conversations with our killers. And she had to have a conversation with the person who killed her. And I always tell you to be aware of this type of stuff. Everybody who acts really nice to you and really sweet, make you feel safe. A lot of times they come in to kill you. And you open up your heart, your your life to someone you think that's going to accept you because they understand your situation. They don't even care. 
Now this poor girl is dead. And for what? For what? 28 years old. Dead. Unbelievable. This is unbelievable, this poor girl. I always tell people, and I tell y'all all the time, watch everybody around you. Watch your scene. Watch when you walk out the house. Don't trust people. The friendliest person is the one you need to watch. The one that overdo that niceness is the one you need to watch. Because in my opinion, she talked to her killer. Because they would have never known she was in that motel. And she opened up the door. And allegedly, I'm saying allegedly she talked to him. I'm not sure, but most of the time when the girls are killed, they talk to the killer. And I'm sure that killer going to be looking at this video. It's a damn shame if you're watching this video. You did not have to kill this girl. You damn wrong. But you know what? God is going to have the final say. Because what you did in the dark, it's going to come to the light. Somewhere along the line, they're going to find something which you did, you didn't cover up. You're going to get what you deserve. Everything done in the dark will come into the light. So I hope you're listening. Because what you did, you didn't have to kill this girl. But trust and believe, God sees all things. God sees all things. God sees all things. And the family, you're in my prayers. You know, and I want to share this with you on this Wednesday and stuff. <sighs> my sisters, please be safe. I can't say it enough. I don't know why she was in the motel. And that's none of my business. But she didn't have to die in that motel not right and if you killed that girl you need to turn yourself in you really need to turn yourself in i don't know if you can hear this video and you're probably watching it because i'm sure that you know what you did was wrong turn yourself in you wrong for what you did turn yourself in whoever killed this girl turn yourself in because god has got the final say and you know you're wrong you're unbelievably wrong Anyway, the family, you're in my prayers, and rest in peace, my sister. Rest in peace. Okay, you see that? August says, rest in peace. Rest in peace. You know, the thing about it, like I try to tell many people who will listen, a lot of times, our killers are much more closer than we think. And I try to get the word out as far as, you know, a lot of times we're talking to someone who's really nice, and it's all a deceiving thing. We're actually thinking we need someone we can trust and they're coming to actually kill us. This girl was killed inside of a motel. 28 years old at 1.15 in the morning. Like I said, rest in peace. You know, I hate doing these videos. And the sad part about it, I know the person who killed her is going to watch these videos. I don't know it. I'm not going to say I know it, but... A lot of times when people commit crimes and kill people, they kind of see who found the body and stuff, so they kind of backtrack and stuff. That's why a lot of times killers go to funerals and stuff. So when you do these type of videos, when you do these type of videos and stuff, the person always look and see what people are going to say. So, if you killed this girl, you need to turn yourself in. You're so wrong. You're so wrong. Anyway, Amaya, rest in peace in the family of my prayers. <sighs> anyway, I'm still not feeling well, but um, um, I love your comments and stuff, and subscribe to my channel. Send me an email if you haven't started your minute cover. Anyway, I want to let you know I love you and thank you for watching Kids 3.